Hi, hi, fabulous friends. Welcome to my sexy, stylish talk about my book, Sexy is Stylish. So the interview today is going to be for 10 minutes and then we are going to be open to Q&A for 10 more minutes. So please ask any question that you may have about the tiny, sexy asset that we are going to be talking today. And my special guest today is a dear friend, is uh, Matt Herman from, he's a radio host. Hello. From WACR 90.3 FM. That's the one. How are you, darling? I'm great. Thank you so much for having me here today. Oh, great. I remember we went last year. Yeah. You interviewed me in your show. It's called Matt and Mandy. Mm -hmm. And we're on great. every Monday. Yes, every Monday. Great show. We mm -hmm. had so much fun. We did. We always have fun when we're yeah. together. It's always a good time. <laughs> How is it going? And you read my book? Of course, yeah. I brought my own copy with me here today. Yes, thank you, thank you. And so, so you were telling me that one of the things that you really, uh, one of your favorite chapter was individuality. And that's what we are going to be talking to today. We are going to be talking about individuality. And what is Matt's opinion about it? On individuality? Yeah. I think it's up to the individual. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't yeah. resist it. Um, you know, I think we, we were chatting a little bit about it before, and I think individuality really does always look different on a different person. We were talking about, I, I said that it, I, it makes a, a great gift for the women in your family. Yes, um, and, you and were, only for, yeah. And you reminded me that it's the gifts and the assets that you talk about in the book are not only for women, but they're for men as well. That's right, because the 10 sexy assets that lies within you the allies, of course, in every human being mm. that is confident, that is knowledge, that is individuality. So, and that makes a human being sexy independently if you are a woman or a man, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, how would you say, how would you define individuality? Like, mm. how would you? I think you did a pretty good job of nailing it in your book. You say uh -huh. that individuality has a lot to do with how a person feels about themselves, how they want to express themselves, and where they're trying to express themselves. Like you have a million different looks because you go to a million different kinds of events. Me, I yes. go to work and I go home. <laughs> so I, I, I wear my Macy's collection, but you know, it's not just the clothes that makes the individuality. No, you know. no, no, no. Yeah, and there is a difference. There is a really, uh, people think that individuality is fashion. And fashion is not individuality. Mm -hmm. Fashion, it comes and goes. It's a system, it goes for a system. But individuality is an expression of who you are. Mm -hmm. And you reflect that with what you wear, with your clothes. Mm -hmm. And also, it's mm -hmm. not only about clothes, it can be the way that you carry yourself, the way that you speak, the way that you behave. All that is rooted in your personality. Mm -hmm. Right. I think you could definitely start seeing individuality in children based yes. on how they treat animals or other people yes. or other kids their age. Yes, totally, totally. So how do you think, um, how do you see the millennials' individuality? Are they embracing individuality or they are just wanting to fit in? You know, I, I think the mainstream thing for people in my generation right now is to be an individual but we're all trying to be an individual in every different direction to the point where it all kind of, kind of blends together. Like there's this one, I hate to bring up a commercial, but here we are in the future. Yes, um, yes. There's a commercial I saw on TV. It's a, a woman and a man that are trying to go back and forth about which cable package they should buy or something mm -hmm. like that. And uh, they wind up talking about how they like different shows and, and then in their conversation about how different they are, they wind up saying the same things about the same shows. Mm -hmm. And they're like, all right, we can't talk anymore. I don't know, this is kind of <laughs> weird. So, I think, I think there is definitely a great representation of individuality, whether if it comes from the self or mm -hmm. from outside sources telling us to be individuals. Because as we just said, you can be, your individuality can be from within and not come from the outside. outside. Totally. Individuality doesn't come from the outside. Individuality comes from who you are, come from, and everybody, everybody is born with that. Mm. Everybody's born with that unique at, uh, essence. Everybody has a unique essence about it. So, but sometimes 
we do not embrace it and we do not hear it, that little voice that tells us how special and how unique we are because we want it to fit and we want it to be like everybody else. And I think you could easily lose where you're supposed to be and not being where you're supposed to be can lead you into not becoming who you're supposed to be. So you could wind up, instead of being your own main character, wind up being in the background of somebody else's story because you weren't following your own. Exactly, exactly. And sometimes I find out that I have a, a girlfriend and she has a daughter, mm -hmm. she's a teenager, and she's super smart. She's uh, beautiful. Um, uh -oh. but she's beautiful, smart, but she find out that sometimes she has to lower her, um, her individuality, her smartness, mm -hmm. to trying to fit with the other girls that in the group, we call the popular girls, mm -hmm. you know? So, and I, I really made me feel so bad because they have to put her down to be like they are. So she's not embracing who she is. And so I think that a lot of teenagers, a lot of people they are doing that today society. Mm -hmm. They are putting the lowering their self down, the standards, the boundaries, so they can be like, you know, to conform. fit, to fit, to conform. Mm -hmm. That's the right word, to conform, to be in the group, to be. Unnoticed. Yes, you are so right. So, so on that, I just wanted, yeah, it? I just wanted to build off of what you said, you yeah. said it so well. Just to touch off of your friend's daughter, you know, sometimes too, I, I think back to when I was a kid, and I was certainly a little weirdo. Um, oh. So I, I, had, I had a little. That's made you special. That's right, nice, exactly. That's made you so special. But I, I had a. I stand up. Like my first year or two of high school, I wasn't one of the cool kids yet. So there was, um, I, I don't want to call it bullying, but like you know, I would go back and forth yeah. with people, and I think that's a healthy. You know, I think you should, if you are an individual, and depending on how great your individuality is, mm -hmm. you should be able to defend that or totally. represent yourself in a way that's not, that doesn't make other people feel less individual. Yes, yes. Uh, you should embrace it. You yeah, should, of course. You should embrace it. And also when you embrace it, believe it or not, without you saying anything, you are empowering others to do the same. Mm -hmm. Without you even getting aware of it. Because they, they, they're going to be saying, oh, he's so cool. I like it. He doesn't compromise his personality. He is who he is. I like that. I should be a little bit more like that. I think everybody wants to right? be able to feel a little bit more themselves. Yes, yes, I think so, T totally. And so which advice do you think that you should give to the millennials right now, that or teenagers, or any particular? Uh, any age in particular to embrace more individuality. I'm not sure I should be giving advice to just about anybody. <laughs> tips! But, tips. all right, find some tips. <laughs> I think um, number one is to get Luis's book. Okay, yeah, thank you. And uh, thank take you. it very literally, because uh -huh. it's, it's really that simple to feel okay with yourself. It's just, it's instead of learning to trust another person, you have Yourself is the best best show ever yet. Nobody is like you. So let's embrace it, right? I agree. And if you're not acting like yourself, who are you gonna who else are you gonna act like? Yes. If they like you, then they like somebody else. If they don't like you, then they don't like somebody else. Exactly. You know, you're just nowhere in the equation. Exactly. And I do believe in education. I do believe it's not like a this is who I am and this is who I'm going to be. I believe in evolving. Let's not confuse with that. Let's not confuse individuality with saying, this is who I am and this is it. No, I believe in learning, I believe in evolving, and I believe in being the best yes. self of you can be, right? Both forgiveness and gratitude are my three words. Amen. Right? <laughs> hey, number four, how'd you know? <laughs> Thank you, oh my God. 10 minutes, oh, 10 wow. minutes already. We always have fun. See? We always have fun, it goes so fast. Thank you for watching, thank you darling for being here with us. Take care So everyone. remember, stay sexy and timeless.